I'd like to demonstrate our spill treatment product designed for uh, cleanup of any type of hydrocarbon spills from oil spills to, um, to uh, gasoline, diesel fuel spills, uh, which may occur time to time. Um, and the purpose of our spill treatment would be to clean the surface, eliminate residues, slippery residues, um, and to uh, um, lim uh, reduce the risk for fires and explosions as a result of the spilled uh, hydrocarbons. Um, additionally, uh, spill treatment has microbes that consume oil hydrocarbons so that when the, when the hydrocarbons are removed during the cleaning process, wherever the hydrocarbons go into the surrounding environment, they're consumed very quickly by the microbes so that they don't pollute further down, allow pollution further downstream. I have a small amount here for this demonstration so that we can uh, show you in a controlled environment um, the ability and effectiveness of the product on gasoline spills. Okay, so I'm going to pour some gasoline down on the, on the concrete. Um, and I'm gonna, there's going to be two, um, two uh, functions of our product that I'd like to demonstrate. The first function of our product that I'd like to demonstrate is the ability to suppress uh, the vapors so that we can put out fires because the actual product will actually put out a fire and to show you that we do have some real gasoline here that we're dealing with. So I'm going to pour this on the ground. And we're going to work with small amounts because we don't want to create a large fire here. But what this will do is to show you that the ability of our product to suppress flames, should there be uh, an ignition that has already occurred. This is the ability of our product to extinguish a flame, should there be a flame that's already there. Now this is very, very strong surface activations here that allow a surface emulsification to occur so that we completely extinguish the flames. Secondly, what I'm going to demonstrate is our ability to prevent fire from happening to begin with. Pour, and this time I can pour a little bit more because I'm not dealing with, a, with an actual flame. And should we have a gasoline or diesel or jet fuel spill, we would apply equal amounts of product to the amount of spilled fuels. Okay, this can be done with a much larger sprayer than what I have here. Uh, in order to accomplish the, the same, the same uh, end result. Okay, once the product has been applied, then it would be necessary to, to create some type of agitation. This can be accomplished with the push broom. You'll notice that our product forms an emulsion. The gasoline forms an emulsion with our product. Generally, in about 30 seconds. This amount of time would be necessary actually to apply any product and clean would require some type of agitation. Then again, we'll apply the fire. You'll notice we have no ignition because we have inhibited any VOCs from escaping from the fuel. At this point, with the risk being greatly reduced, we're free. To apply a rinse where we'd actually rinse it off. The concrete. Once it's been rinsed, 
There is no slippery, oily residues remaining. Therefore, if it was on, let's say, a, a, a thoroughfare where there's street traffic uh, or even pedestrian traffic, it could be resumed immediately because there's no risk of fires. Now, the, the hydrocarbons that are, are now soluble in the water, so wherever this water goes, you won't have any separation of the gasoline from the water. The microbes are attached to each particle of the gasoline. Molecular in size, independently suspended in the water, will be consumed by the microbes in the surrounding environment. So that we've, we've, we've eliminated, greatly reduced, the risk for uh, slipping, the risk for fires, explosions, and also the risk that the hydrocarbon would cause the environment after such a, a release. Thank you very much.